Hello, a student of mine asked me about maintaining stamina during the gig. So uh, the thing is, there's there's two ways to look at this. One is if you've got a gig coming up like tomorrow night, how do you <laughs> how do you make sure that you don't run out of steam during the gig? Um, so in the short term basis, I would say just on the the day of the gig, make sure and stay hydrated. Um, you can drink lots of water, as people always advise. Also, another thing is steaming, which is basically at the very basic level. Steaming is holding your head over uh, a bowl of hot water with a towel over your head, making sure not to burn yourself. And there's also steamers and nebulizers um, that you can buy. Um, make sure that you're you're doing anything you can to that that helps you to keep your energy up. Um, so if that's listening to inspirational music or just running through your set um, and, and, you know, just imagining yourself and the audience having a great time, um, reading inspirational stuff, listening to inspirational stuff, um, anything that helps you to feel positive and, and ready to go. Um, make sure that you, your body feels good. So if you like to run or you, you do stretching or working out in the gym, um, anything that, that helps your body to feel better. Um, I have to say really that it's a long term thing, really. Um, if you've been mistreating your voice up until the day of the gig, it will be quite challenging to give of your best for 90 minutes or however long the gig is. Um, so in the wider sense, um, I mean, people often compare singers to athletes, and I think that is a really accurate comparison because singers need to, to look after themselves. Um, anything you do to your body will affect your voice because your, your vocal cords are actually inside your body. So, as I mentioned, hydrating, that's a very important thing to do on a daily basis. Um, exercise, make sure that you are doing things that help you to feel energetic um, mentally look after your your mental health uh, do things that, that help you to stay positive um, as i mentioned visualization you can if you are into meditation yoga is good for the body and for the mind and yeah, any, it may take some experimentation. You may have to try different types of exercise to see what works for you. Diet, people will always mention diet. And everything doesn't affect everybody. So you may be able to eat dairy with no problem whatsoever, but some people are really badly affected by dairy. So again, it is a matter of kind of monitoring what works for you and what doesn't work for you. Um... Of course, vocal technique, I would say that, obviously, <laughs> being a vocal coach. But I honestly think that even if it's just for a short period of time, it is a good idea to see a vocal coach who can get to know your voice and to monitor any issues that are coming up and can help you counteract any adverse things that are happening with your voice and they can give you a routine to follow um, they can help you work out what's happening with your voice on any given day and and how to to deal with that and also help you arrange your repertoire so that you're not burning yourself out at the beginning of the gig um, and lots of other helpful uh, advice that you may not be able to think of just by thinking about it or by looking at YouTube. Um, I think it's really important to have someone who will be able to see you and hear you in person or online, but like, you know, you can be in front of them so that they can gauge what is happening with you personally. So yeah, if there are any other vocal coaches out there who could think of any, uh, or singers, who can think of other things that will help singers to maintain their stamina either on a short-term or long-term basis comment below